So the next big thing after Don't Hug Me I'm Scared seems to be the YouTube channel That Poppy. It's weird, it has a deeper meaning, it involves three weird characters, and it even has its own 19th of June mystery, 336. Since videos from YouTube explained a nightmind have grabbed my attention, I thought I might as well have a look into this and see if I can bring anything new to the table. Firstly, I do want to recommend you check out some of that Poppy's YouTube channel first, just to get an idea of what I'm going to be talking about. So I'll give you a sec to do that. Okay, let's go. So, you got this girl who goes by the name Poppy, and she creates a bunch of weird videos on the internet. Each video she acts almost emotionless, very wooden and still, as if she's some kind of robot almost. And to make things weirder, she's an artist. An official artist, one that's actually signed up to a record company. Island Records to be exact. If you go to the YouTube channel That Poppy, you'll see that her channel is connected to Vivo and it states in the description that she is part of the Island Records. So if that's the case, then what's with all the weird videos on her other channel? Well, Poppy is actually a project. She's not real, kinda. She's a parody of actual artists you see in the charts, and taking it one step further, she's probably a parody of all celebrities in general, such as models, performers, and all that. Each video that is uploaded onto her channel is usually poking fun into our society and how we treat celebrities like gods, when in truth, they're only doing whatever company that owns them tells them to do. The best example of her being told what to say is when she's actually advertising t-shirts and she's constantly asking the people off camera what she should say next. What do you want me to say? If money can't buy happiness, then why is it so fabulous? Each one of her videos on her channel, I believe, is poking fun into something, and even though I haven't quite figured them all out, there's nothing stopping you from having a look yourself. Having said all this, there are still more elements that people haven't really been talking about. Well, okay, they've mentioned them, but they've always seemed to overlook them. Not only is there a story that's finally unravelling on the channel, it's not the only channel we should be keeping an eye on. If you check in the description of every Poppy video, you'll see that it's directed by a guy who goes by the name Titanic Sinclair, who actually has his own YouTube channel that's linked with Poppy's channel, where he uploads videos that are similar to hers. You just gotta start making videos, and then get millions of people to watch them. And then, you'll be a success just like me. I actually feel this channel from Titanic is a parody of the creators behind the camera. I am Princess Leia, and I am also a cat. And here's my top five favorite things about the internet. Subscribe on YouTube. That means you. Whereas Poppy is a parody of the people in front of it. He also has his own website, I might add, which is in the top corner of his channel. When you arrive, your cursor will turn into the Eye of Providence. Obviously some Illuminati stuff going on here. It's a pretty clever channel, so I'm surprised not many people have picked up on this. But I guess that's understandable, as the main focus does in fact seem to be on that Poppy's channel. Speaking of which, I did say that there appears to be a story unravelling over there. But in order to grasp the whole of this story, I'm gonna need to start at the very beginning. We're going back to the time before the Poppy project was even created. Because I believe this story has a little bit to do with Titanic's previous project. That project was called Mars Argo. My life is unbelievably boring and I need to broadcast that to the world. The project was very similar to Poppy's. Well, actually, it's almost identical. Titanic would host a show with a girl called Mars Argo. She acted exactly the same way as Poppy does in her videos, and also pokes fun at how we act in our society, and how we treat celebrities, how we look at each other, etc. Also, Mars Argo was a band, writing songs with Titanic Sinclair just like the Poppy Project. There's not many videos left from the Mars Argo Project, but they chose to leave three of their older videos on their old channel, GroceryBag.TV. This was in fact the original channel they used for the Mars Argo, as there's an interview dating back on July 20th, 2014 on WonderingSound.com, where Titanic and Mars are actually out of character answering questions and talking about the Project Mars Argo that's on GroceryBag.TV. Nearly said that wrong. During this interview, it states that they had been creating a show called The Internet Show since 2007, but obviously when YouTube started implementing the copyright laws for using other people's music in your videos, they had to create their own music to put in the background of their videos. 
People loved the music that much that they started asking where they could buy it, and eventually Mars Argo came into place in 2009. I should also state that Mars Argo is not her actual name, obviously. It's a character that she created purposely for the internet show. Same with Titanic Sinclair, as this isn't his actual name either, it's Corey. We aren't sure exactly what Mars Argo's real name is, but that's besides the point. I just wanted to clarify that these are in fact two characters they were playing as in these shows. But during this interview, when Titanic was asked, what do they see for the future on this channel? Titanic replies with, we have a big opportunity to be able to do what we set out to do on a large scale, and we are going to be able to really expand the computer show element. This interview was posted just over a year before Poppy's arrival, so Poppy seems to be the larger scale version of the internet show. But where's Mars Argo? Titanic is around. Well, according to Titanic Sinclair, she stopped wanting to make videos. The breakup was mutual, he stated. Now, I don't have anything to talk about on the breakup. Those things happen all the time, and that's understandable. But what I found most peculiar is not only is the Twitter account for Mars Argo active still, keep in mind Mars Argo is a character, not only that, a video was uploaded this year by Titanic Sinclair's friend Tony Catty featuring Mars Argo. It's on his YouTube channel called XVTVI. Hey there. It has Mars Argo who appears to be speaking to someone on a computer, as the quality is very much the same as an average webcam. She chews gum while holding a gun to her head, saying that this is funny, right? It's funny, right? Then it cuts to a later scene, still talking to this person online. Then out of nowhere, she begins to throw up blood. Sometimes I just throw up blood. It, it wasn't your fault. It wasn't anybody's fault. I just wanted it all. Eventually ending with her saying, everybody just wants it all. Everybody just wants it all, right? Then those words are repeated a couple of times and then followed by strange sound you hear at the end of the video. But if you play these strange sounds in reverse, you get this. If you want it all, you cannot be distracted by the illusion you created. If you want it all, you cannot be distracted by the illusion you have created. Only when your mind is silent can you see clear enough to enjoy your life and forget about your desires. Your desires are irrelevant. I do want to point out this channel is official by the way, this isn't a random fans channel, it belongs to Tony Catty. Who's Tony you might ask? Tony was actually Titanic and Mars's cinematographer. He was the one filming the internet shows, and he even did the cinematography for Mars Argo's Runaway music video. People who used to watch the old show back in 2013 or so even stated that Tony made appearances too, but those videos have since been deleted. Titanic Sinclair has also stated that this video was in fact created by his friend Tony. However, Titanic has also confirmed that this video was made in 2013, despite it being re-uploaded on April 28th, 2016. Also, if you comment on the channel, Tony has replied before also stating that he made that video back in 2013. So you're probably thinking, okay, this was made three years ago by Titanic Sinclair's friend Tony. What does this have to do with the Poppy's hidden story or whatever it is? Well, I'm gonna be honest, at first I didn't think anything of it. When I found out Titanic was telling people the video was three years old and that Mars Argo had nothing to do with it, I was about to let it go. That was until I realised he was making references towards this specific video. Now, I can understand him making Mars Argo references, as it was something he'd been doing since 2009 to 2014, but that's not what he's been doing. Well, he has been doing that, but a lot of the times he's been making direct references to this one video with her in it. The first piece of evidence is that this video is 3 minutes and 36 seconds long. Does that remind you of a particular video? 3 plus 3 equals 6. I can't believe it's 336.
also, Mars Argo appears to be throwing up blood towards the end, which is once again familiar for another one of Poppy's videos called Oh No, where it appears there is one Poppy throwing up blood from her mouth, and then all of a sudden another Poppy appears and says Oh No. Mars Argo was the original Poppy, and was soon replaced by the Poppy that we know now. In this video, this is obviously supposed to represent Mars Argo, aka the original Poppy and then the second Poppy appears out of nowhere to replace her. Also in the video, Mars Argo at the end states how she wanted it all and how everyone just wants it all. Then in Poppy's music video Money, she talks about how she wants everything. Adding to the evidence, there was a song that used to be on Poppy's SoundCloud called Chewing Gum which has since been removed. But you can still find it on YouTube, and when you listen to the lyrics, it sounds a lot like she's describing that video again. I like myself again, I finally found a friend. His name's nobody, and he loves me. I found him on the web, the worldwide internet. In the video, Mars Argo clearly is speaking to someone on the World Wide Web and claims that she really likes these talks with this person because it doesn't feel like she has anyone else to talk to. I'm really happy that we get to have these talks. I feel like I don't really have anyone else to talk to. In this video, it could be giving a hint that she likes herself again because she's finally found a friend, someone to talk to. Plus, we don't actually know this person's name, which explains the lyrics, his name's nobody. And finally, the song's called Chewing Gum, and she's, she's chewing gum. Okay, that's not the best evidence, but the lyrics of the song fit pretty well, so, you know, when you look at the facts, I wouldn't be surprised if this song is talking about the video. So, what's the meaning of this video? It must be something pretty big if Titanic Sinclair is referencing it a lot. Well, the backwards message from the video explains it best. If you want it all, you cannot be distracted by the illusion you have created. Only when your mind is silent can you see clear enough to enjoy your life and forget about your desires. Your desires are irrelevant. Your desires are irrelevant. I think the desires it's referring to is money and fame. That is what we're all blinded by, and we've seen so many people attempt to do anything to get it, thinking once they have it, they'll get everything. I think even though this video was made in 2013, I think this has the main message that Titanic Sinclair is trying to get across in the story of Poppy. This message is about clearing your mind and seeing the truth. All we want is a happy life, but our mind is constantly telling us these things will give us a happy life. Money will give us a happy life. Being adored by millions will make you feel loved, but that isn't true. And we've seen it so many times that it isn't true. But our own society has kind of manipulated us into thinking that fame and fortune is glamorous, and we fall for it all the time. And I believe that's what Tony and Sinclair are trying to say in this message. If you really want everything, you have to clear that illusion in your mind that money and fame will give you everything. And once those two things are out of your mind, only then will you be able to find out what you truly want to do. And only then will you be able to go on and enjoy your life properly. I personally think that is the overall message that Poppy is trying to get across. However, I do think there is a little story that is going on in between these videos as well. So I just want to get that straight. The main message of the video is what I just stated. But there is a little story that's going on throughout these videos as well, but I actually haven't mentioned it yet. So let's get on to it. Okay, so I think while Titanic and Mars did split up, I think Titanic gave Mars Argo, the character, a part to play in this story of Poppy. Mars Argo wanted it all and tried to be a part of Hollywood by creating songs that had different meanings to the usual songs you'd hear in the chart. But then she realised that fame was changing her, as we can see in this video. She eventually quits and runs away from Hollywood to possibly search for what she actually wanted to do. I came to this conclusion as one of her songs that are still up on the original channel is about her wanting to run away from Hollywood. Once she left, Titanic replaced Mars Argo with Poppy 
showing how Hollywood does this all the time with stars. However, this time, Poppy wanted fame and fortune more than creating good lyrics in music, unlike Marzago, meaning she was willing to give in and create anything to make her famous. Hence why in Mars Argo's videos we see a little bit more of creativeness, I don't know if that's a word, but whereas Poppy, we get songs singing about money and fame, and we get lyrics that contradict each other. Mars Argo wanted to run away, obviously, and I think she managed it because she hadn't signed to any record deal or agreed to anything. This meant she was free to run away. However, Poppy had already signed at the very beginning of Island Records, meaning she actually can't run away. And I believe Poppy is starting to regret this decision on becoming a pop star, as at the start of her channel, she actually seemed a lot happier. But now she talks about escaping and going to Japan without telling them. I need to escape. They don't want me to go. Will this protect me? And in other videos, she talks about how she wants to tell us something, but they won't let her. Have they told you? Yeah. I don't know if they're gonna let me tell you. Even in the latest interview on the channel, and yes, she's been interviewed by a mannequin. It's a representation of talk show hosts asking the same questions constantly, and they all have the same personality that they might as well just be replaced with an actual mannequin and you wouldn't know the difference. Every video has a lot of things to talk about. We don't actually have time to do that. Anyway, when asked questions in her latest interview, she completely overlooked all questions and never answered them. I am having trouble understanding your videos lately. Thank you so much, Charlotte. I'm so happy to be here. Poppy, I asked you a question. I love my fans, my record label, and my handler. Are you okay? You aren't making any sense. But when you go to her older videos where she's interviewed again, she was actually answering questions without hesitation. What inspires you as an artist? Lately, I'm inspired by many things. Candy, empty paper bags, pet decor. I think Poppy is realizing that fame isn't all that it's cracked up to be, and she wants to get out, but she can't because she's now stuck in a contract with a company. In this particular story that Titanic's creating, he's obviously chosen the Illuminati to represent the company, which I think is obviously the perfect choice, considering how people see the Illuminati as a group trying to use mind control on the whole world using celebrities. So now Poppy is trapped in the hands of the Illuminati and has to do exactly what they say. Otherwise... What rhymes with breath? Death. Like I said, the story is still progressing, so maybe in future we will see her trying to escape from the Illuminati. I don't know. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you guys have any theories yourself on Poppy, then feel free to leave them in the comments below. I love reading your guys' theories. Thanks for all your support, guys, on this new channel. Stay safe and don't pull a Picard. Hey guys, welcome to the outro screen. You made it. Well done. Today we're obviously going to do a shout out to um, the person who created my profile picture. I think that's what you call it on YouTube. I don't know. But yeah, she did a really good job. I really enjoyed it. She's made a couple of fun art for me uh, before in the past and I really enjoyed it. So I asked her obviously if she could make me one for the uh, profile picture and I obviously ended up paying her and I, I wanted to give her a bit of a shout out as well. She's got a channel, feel free to check it out if you want, or she's on Twitter as well. Just like I'm on Twitter, guys, if you want to follow me, you know, just there, it's right, it's right there. Anyway, never mind. Thanks guys for all your support. Like I said, I'll probably make a follow up on this chat, uh, this video um, in future. But thanks guys for all your support. I'll see you next time. Stay safe and don't pull a Picard.